from a safety protocol perspective, people think about like physical damage, not emotional damage. I know this sounds ridiculous. I know this sounds ridiculous, but it won't be. It's already happening. There's an app called Replica where people have an intimate relationship with an AI chatbot and they hurt themselves. I was thinking about this. Yeah. Okay. In dating, mm -hmm. what if you, because you can train like a chat bot to kind of mimic the way that you talk to people and interact with people. Go on. Yeah. But then I'm like, okay, but what if we could all make AI versions of ourselves and have them date yeah. like thousands and thousands of other AI people and have that as a way to churn out potential potential candidates? Like I feel like that's gonna be what's the what's the Yeah. What's the what <laughs> No, but what's the point of like meeting 20 people if you're like oh but if we just had our ai versions of ourselves interact they'd be like oh your your method of conflict is not going to match or what if the ai version of you like sleeps around with all the other ais and becomes famous for that and it starts its own only fans and then it become and you're like what did you do you come yeah. back home you'd realize like i don't i didn't want to create a monster create a monster i and mean then... do i get a cut <laughs> exactly that's the question <laughs> yeah. i would be asking but I think it's definitely like, yeah, the, the human technology interaction is really interesting because I feel like I don't love any of the machines that I have in my life. Oh, really? You haven't, you haven't? I mean, I don't love my phone. I touch it all the time and it's there and it's like constantly, it's a constant presence, but there's nothing in me that feels like, oh, I love this object. So like I kind of despise it. 